Aloha everyone, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to talk about the beach event that's coming out in the Lumbridge Crater next week. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Yeah, this is the Illus. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, this is going to be a quick video just giving you some information about the event, also giving you a little rundown of what it is if you're not familiar with it, and some changes this time around if you are familiar. So let's get started. So the beach event is beginning next week, Monday, that is July 12th, and it will be running until August 8th. It is at the Lumbridge Crater, which will be completely transformed to the beach aesthetic that many of us are familiar with. In order to take part of the beach, all you need to do is head on over there to the Lumbridge Crater. There are a load of activities for you to try. So some of the returning ones like the coconut shy, the barbecue, and the bodybuilding, to name a few, but many more of the staples for the beach will be coming back as well. Now, while playing in any of these activities, you're going to be earning some XP in various different skills. It's generally pretty AFK XP, not best XP per hour, obviously, but a nice little chunk here and there. You'll also be earning the potential to get cosmetics and other XP boosting things while at the beach. Also, every 15 minutes, a different activity will be on Spotlight. Spotlit activities will give you an additional 10% XP for taking parts. In addition, at 1, 9, and 1400 game time, the Spotlight will actually be replaced with a happy hour, in which all activities will receive this 10% XP boost. Also, while it's active, your temperature gauge will not increase, and you'll have a greater chance of getting items when playing the activities. Speaking of the temperature gauge, this is going to be something that's going to fill up as you do activities at the beach. Once it is full, you will no longer be gaining XP from any of the activities at the beach and will either need to eat an ice cream or wait till the next daily reset. Ice creams can be earned from simply participating in the beach. You'll also get a chance of getting a variety of cocktails, each one giving different benefits to different skills. If you're familiar with the beach, Claudia is making a return. A giant crustacean boss will spawn every 45 minutes on the hour at the Lumbridge Crater and she'll stick around for five minutes. If you defeat her, you have a chance of getting some sweet drops, and the first time you kill her each day, you're guaranteed an anti-sun potion, which gives you an additional XP boost at beach. Aside from the AFK skilling activities, there are a variety of outfits, pets, animations, and more on offer, all related to and encompassing a beach or swim theme. Now, those of you who are regular beachgoers and have been going to the beach event in the past are probably wondering what's been changed this time around. So here are the biggest changes you can expect. The beach ball rolling event has actually been removed. Obviously, there's going to be new cosmetic rewards available from skilling as well as from the rune shop, which I'm particularly excited for because if you know, or if you've seen my character before, you know it's heavily based on a beach theme. So if there's an opportunity to upgrade my appearance, I'm always happy for that. Also, old cosmetics are going to be making a return through the oddments shop. So if you have not collected all the ones in the previous years, you'll have an opportunity to do so at least, and the fan favorite Dungeoneering Hole is going to be making its appearance once again for those AFK Dungeoneering games. So that's pretty much all the information we got in regards to the beach coming out next week. Once again, July 12th to August 8th at the Lumbridge Crater. I'm going to wrap up the video there. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I'm out. Aloha.